Hi, this is Shadow 53 with an Observer game of Akron. First managed to get this up. I know it's taken a long time, but here it is. So we have Google Frog as the Grekim versus X Tan as the CISO player. Apparently, I'm just going to be jumping around a bit just to show what was going on. There was a bit of an issue when we started playing where I wasn't actually able to see them, and I should, but it was weird math bugs. So anyway, got that settled, so now here's the game. So, x is going for a fairly economic build. He's going for six resource processors on his liquid crystal and one on Q-plasma, although it's a bit harder to see now. It's... as his forward propagate to the future, we'll see what he's done. While Google Frog looks like he's going all far out. He actually looks like he's going for a fairly offensive build. He was telling me about this. It's a rush build, apparently, Grekum can do, and it involves building three Faros, which he is now, again. I just went back. If you notice, right above the timeline, there's the absolute time value, and that will let you know when we are, so it's a bit easier to track. Anyway, back to the game. So he's building up some Faros, and it looks like he has another Octo just waiting there. That's actually helping progenerate with the Seppi. And so, once those Faros get out, I'm betting he's probably going to just go for a push, because that can be a fairly aggressive attack. And x does not look at all prepared. He's expanding at this point, looks like he's going for a fairly economic build. And he's got a special ops probably going scouting out the Reckon base, but that's not going to be too much to fight back. I mean, just having Marines and maybe a special ops against all those Reckon forces, just in case you didn't know, Reckon forces are fairly powerful for their costs, so that's going to be a pretty scary army to fight against. Yeah, it looks like, yep, he's going for it. So, Google looks like he's going for a Reckon rush, and x does not look at all prepared, continuing to build an economic build, which, I mean, most of the time, good idea, but. In this case, it looks like it's not going to work out so well, but Stan's not going to know. However, being a grunt, he will be able to find out and will be able to counter it, but we'll see if he actually manages to take advantage of that. So, at this point, he's continuing to build up, continuing to build up, attention's coming up, Grekin forces are coming, and I should bear in mind we're actually about 10 seconds behind where the players are, but bear with us. So, looks like x has built a factory in the bottom near his natural, and not too concerned, I briefly going over that. And he's going to hopefully, I mean at the very least, if he has a factory outside of his main, he'll be able to fight back a bit better because the Grekum forces will not be able to hit it. And it looks like a special op is trying to see if the Grekum's expanding out to the middle of the map. And no, the Grekum's going for a rush attack, and yeah, now the Grekum is starting to push in, got all his units, and yep, there he goes. And, oh, looks like actually I missed that. He's going to be pushing in a bit sooner than I thought, and yeah, so in about probably five seconds or so, he's going to be pushing in the main base and just trying to completely knock down x -Tan's main. I mean, x -Tan really doesn't have much to defend against. He's got a Marine and his Special Ops is, like I said, his Special Ops is looking at the Grekum third in the middle, but that's not going to do him much good. So, the Grekum's coming in. Okay, Grekum is coming in, Octo's leading the way, and a bunch of Seppies and Faro's behind, and Zato's coming in, and... The Marine has started to respond. The Marine is fighting against the Octo, shooting the Octo, but. Oh. Oops, okay. It looks like the uh, looks like Google Frog actually delayed the attack slightly. So, let's see. Actually, going back, it looks like Eckstein has responded a bit, but he sent his special ops to take out the forces, but he's not actually controlling it, so he got killed. Oh, great. So now it looks like. Yeah, he's sending more infantry to really just march to their doom, and I think he's probably going to have to fix that. I bet he's going to go back in time and fix that further, but. Yeah, he's. This is going to be a bit of a pressure game because at this point he knows that he knows what Google Frog has done or is doing, and so he's going to try to get around it. And it looks like yeah, he's building up a bunch of forces from his armory, and yes, he will have the reserves for it, so he'll be able to continually build up infantry. But I don't think that'll be enough. He'll have to use his factory if he wants to get out of this, because just infantry, just see some infantry is not going to be enough to fight the Grekin forces. And it looks like he's going to send up some units to attack, and yeah, this. Yeah, so I'm just going to fast forward beyond this, so it's not too boring yet. And so it looks like... I should kind of have to see. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, okay, well, anyway, yeah, zoom in a bit. So here we are. The Special Ops is also not doing much. It looks like x did not plan on actually getting attacked. He's not attack moving. He's just moving his forces in there, and they're all getting killed. Actually, you know, I'm going to show up the objective lines, because that's starting to get distracting. Let's see, make sure, okay, I'll have him on when I select a unit, so you can really see the orders. But, yeah, it's, so yeah, the Grekin forces, despite that, are coming in, and a Special Ops is attacking the Grekin base, but it's kind of too, a little too late at this point. 
So there's a fairly large Dragon Army coming in, and his response... Actually, he's managed to eventually get his infantry to attack properly, and he's got a Lancer up too, so that's good. So the Lancer's going to be able to attack most of the units. The Octos will not be able to fight back, but it's mostly Seppies and Faros, so the Lancer probably won't do much good beyond just dealing damage, which is still good to do, but he's going to need more than that to be able to hold off this rush if he wants to. And it looks like, oh my, it looks like Google Frog's got complete free reign of the base. He's coming in, he's just going to be starting to rip apart these resource processors. And Seppies do a lot of damage, even though they're anti-air units, they do a lot of damage to ground. And the Faros as well, just, well, Faros do fairly good damage to everything. And it looks like, yeah, oh man, it looks like Google Frog's just pushing away, and I think x going to try to do something to fight back, but it's hard to tell. I mean, Google Frog's continuing to get forces in, and... Actually, no, no, he's not. Let me clarify. His rush is entirely an all-in, so he's not going to be doing anything other than this rush, but it looks like it's going fairly well, and... Actually, is there... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it looks like Special Ops has managed to get rid of one of the Seppies, but I don't think it's going to do much at this point. Yeah, it just got killed. Versus processors are going down. They're going to be going down in a few minutes, and... I don't know, minutes, sorry, a few seconds. Okay, there goes one. The far is actually regenerating. It looks like he's going to try building units in x base. Google Frog is building units in x base, and it's going to be... Yeah, here it is. Starting to regenerate some Octos, and... Yeah, Google Frog, or Google Frog has to fend off this ATHC, though. It's actually doing a pretty good job of getting through. It's cloaked right now. The only unit that can detect cloak is Faro's. And the Faro is currently regenerating, so it's not doing any good. So at this point, x actually may have a chance of getting back. He's... His ATHC is dealing quite a bit of damage, and he's only lost a few resource processors on his Q Plasma, so he still has a fair amount of resources left. You know, the special lot's coming, and it's probably not going to last too long, but at least it's going to deal some more damage as the ATHC is coming from behind, and yeah, I actually start to completely to take out the Seppies. The Seppies are all gone, so now the ATHC's got to, they got to go and get rid of those progenerating triads, because they don't, or progenerating pair, because if they don't, then those units are just going to keep coming back, because I mean, now, basically, Google Frog has a small base inside x base, building units, and looks like the ATHCs are just attacking the Octos, which are being produced. Not necessarily the worst idea, but it's still should really be getting those per generators because if he gets those, then Google Frog can't build any more units. Anyway, he got rid of the Octos, so that was pretty easy. But now, now Google Frog's going to be attacking with a fairly larger army. Got his Pharaoh in, but the Pharaoh is helping to attack the ATHCs, and the ATHCs are not attacking the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh's almost dead, but the Pharaoh's the one actually allowing x to be killed, and it looks like, oh man, x ATHCs were all destroyed just because he couldn't hit that Pharaoh once. Wow, that's got to hurt. So it looks like go back and double-check. He's not responding. He's not changing it. I guess he's out of chrono energy for moving that Tornado, because that Tornado there really could help him out, but oh, it's kind of late. That really sucks, though, the HHCs. So it looks like Google Frog's going to have some more... going to be able to deal some more damage, but I don't know how much more... It's... The Tornado's coming in, starting to take out of these Octos, and the Octos cannot hit the Tornado. They cannot hit air. They're complete melee units. So it looks like he got rid of one Octo, getting rid of another Octo, and a couple more hits, and... I don't know. There's actually a bunch of Faros now coming in, so the Faros that have been regenerated, they're going to be able to deal a fair amount of damage. It looks like he's actually making a full triad in the middle of x base, not just to pair. So at this point, Faros are coming in, they're dealing a fair amount of damage to the Tornad. Tornad will not be able to last long, but it should probably be able to kill at least one more Faro. Oh, never mind, actually. Whoops. Okay, actually it turns out Faros actually don't deal that much damage. But if the set, when the Steppies get done, though, coming down there, then they're going to be able to do a fair amount. And it's like, actually, the Tornads are coming in and, you know, the Tornads are starting to clean up. Looks like the Tornads are actually going to be able to hold this off. I think x might actually be able to hold this off. It looks like it anyway. It's like... See, the forces are coming in. I mean, Google Frog has not actually built any more resource processors since he started. He's just been going off four resource processors on Liquid Crystal. That's all he's had this entire game. I mean, the rush has gone pretty well so far, but it looks like x actually going to be able to hold it off with the Tornads. It's a very close game. Very close. And a Marine in the bottom. Wow, this is this has been really exciting. So it looks like Google Frog's... Yeah, it looks like Google Frog's being cleaned up. He's going back to the past to see what his units are doing. And see... I don't know if he's changing it. No, he's not changing anything, but he's probably looking to see what happened to his units, trying to figure out what happened, what made the battle fall apart. Because at this point, x completely cleaned up the rush. Only lost three resource processors, a bunch of infantry and a couple ATHCs, though, but still only lost a few resource processors and otherwise held off the rush. This really good play by x It'd be very interesting because, I mean, Google Frog and I were talking about this rush, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be super effective, and it looks like x found a way to get around it. Although... On the other hand, Google Frog did actually push it a bit later. He didn't quite rush as soon as possible. But still, that was a fairly close game. That was really tight. So it looks like x just waiting around. I think Google Frog's probably going to surrender at some point. So at this point, x is building up more. He's just sitting pretty in his base. 
not sure if Google probably is doing something with... No, he's not. I wasn't sure if he's going to go up there and undo the attack or try to build a Seppi in Mount, or Seppi in a Reef and get Gate Tech, or Chronoporting. Ah, sorry, Gate Tech for the other species. Chronoporting for Grekum, and actually Chronoport units back in time to support the attack, but it doesn't look like he's going to do that. I think I think Google Frog is pretty much out of the game. It's pretty much GG at this point. He hasn't said it yet, but looks like that's going to be the case. x however, is just building up just in case. He doesn't know whether or not Google Frog has anything. I mean, Google Frog's in the present, so for all he knows, Google Frog's sending units back in time. He doesn't know what Google Frog has. But x is going to be just waiting around. He's going to be scouting out, making sure that there's nothing else happening, because Google Frog hasn't actually thrown in the towel yet, officially. So at this point... X is just going to be waiting around, and looks like... Well, I mean, he doesn't know it, but yeah, we know. There's nothing more coming. Google Frog has nothing left. So it was a really good game, really good rush, and really good hold up of the rush. Very interesting, very interesting play, especially with the Grekum progenerating in the base. That was neat. But still, so if you get hit by a Grekum rush, good idea. And it looks like Google Frog is left, so that's done. Thanks for watching.